Hi, this is the Sign Chef. Since Neko and Wayek use almost the same syllabus, if not the same, I thought it wise to use this video for the correction to the questions of the just concluded 2023 Wayek Chemistry Practical Alternative B to serve as a revision guide for this year's Neko Chemistry Practical Examination. Point of caution, please don't cram. Just understand the concept and apply same to your Neko Chemistry Practical Examination. If you are yet to watch our earlier tutorials on the 2023 Neko Chemistry Practicals and they want to do so, we have added the links in the description. Also, if you like what we are doing in this channel, you can encourage us to do more by dropping a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel and turn on your notification bell if this is your first time here. Alright, let's start. The first question here says, all your breath readings, initial and final, as well as the size of your pipette must be recorded, but no account of experimental procedure is required. All calculations must be done in this booklet. Alright, question 1. So that E is a solution containing 2.92 grams of HCl per dm cube, while F is a solution obtained by diluting 20.0 cm cube of a saturated solution of YOH2 at 25 degrees per dm cube of solution. Put E into the bullet and titrate it against 20.0 cm cube or 25.0 cm cube portion of F using phenolphthalein as indicator. Repeat the titration to obtain concordant titer values. Tabulate your results and calculate the average volume of acid used. The equation for the reaction is as shown on the screen. YOH2 plus 2HCl equals YCl2 plus 2H2O. Now, let's go back to the question and underline some key aspects of this question. This 2.92 grams per dm cube of HCl, that is the concentration in grams per dm cube of HCl that was used. Then we have 20 cm cube of a saturated solution of YOH2 per dm cube of solution. This has to do with solubility. Yes, this has to do with solubility because of this temperature. Whenever I see concentration and temperature, it has to do with solubility. I'm very sure there will be a question on solubility here. I don't know. Because this is dilution. You are diluting a saturated solution to obtain the new solution okay then of course we are using 25 cm cube pipette that will be the volume of f that will be used then concordant tighter values concordant what are the concordant tighter values these are values whose difference between the minimum and maximum values must not be more than plus or minus 0 0.2 plus or minus 0 0.2 but i always go into plus or minus 0 0.1 yes you are asked to calculate the average volume of acid use. So, the first thing we have to do is to prepare our table of values. So, we start the bullet reading. Twenty-four point six zero. As you can see from my table, I am sure of my eight marks. I was told to record the volume of my pipette. So the volume of pipette used is twenty-five point zero zero cm cube. I also want to record my indicator. All this already stated there. My indicator used is um, phenolphthalein. So since I was asked to add the acid in the bullet and the base in the conical flask, it means that when I add the phenolphthalein to the base in the conical flask, it will be pink, right? I wish that my end point would be what? Colorless. All right. Remember, you were given sodium hydroxide and HCl in the instruction, but in the question, they change it to YOH2, which probably would be calcium hydroxide. But that doesn't mean that you should change your calculations to suit sodium hydroxide. No. You have to work with what you have in the question, right? Okay. So now, this table will give you what? 8 marks. How will you get your 8 marks? Provided there's no alteration. You can see there's no alteration here. My recordings were done in two decimal places. I did not alter any value here. 
and my breath readings were consistent like 24.60 24.70 26.70 not uh, 24.63 or 26.78 no not a uh, stuff like that if you do that you will lose marks and i did not cancel my table if i cancel my table i would have lost four marks right so and my title value say concordant but i can see my values here you can see my values 24.6 24.6 24.6 they are concordant they are the same right the the difference between them is zero right or 0.00, .00. now if i wanted to use 24.6 24.5 24.6 still be okay right provided they are recorded in two decimal places right so from my table here i have observed all the rules so there's nothing that would make them what deduct my marks provided my title value is the same or is within the range of my teacher's word or my supervisor's word title value all right so let's move to the next question in the next question we are asked to calculate the average title value or the average volume of uh, acid that was what used so so we are going to calculate that here average volume of acid that's e used will be given as first title is my, my first title plus my second title plus my third title all over three then I substitute the values that's 24.60 cm cube plus 24.60 cm cube plus 24.60 cm cube all over three if I evaluate this this will give me 24.60 cm cube now my final answer here is in what two decimal what places that's what is required okay so that's my average volume of e used you can see i first was did my formula i must state the title value that i'm using to calculate the average title i must state them in the formula here and after that i substitute and then evaluate to get my answer right so after getting that was the next question from your results and the information provided, calculate the concentration of E in moles per dm cube. Okay, so I'm going to divide this. Good. So, first of what are we given? What do we have? We have a um, concentration of, of ACL in grams per dm cube is 2.2, 2.92 grams per dm cube. Okay. Molar mass of ACL will be given as AR of H plus AR of chlorine. So that gives us 1 plus 35.5, which equals to 36.5 grams per mole. Therefore, concentration of ACL in moles per dm cube will be given as concentration of ACL in grams per dm cube divided by molar mass of ACL. You don't jump any step, just outline your work the way it's meant to be so that you don't lose your marks because it's a very tricky question. 2.92 divided by 36.5. Okay, if we evaluate this, what do we get? That gives us 0 0.0800 mole per dm cube in three significant figures. Right. Because remember, I always tell you that whenever you're calculating your concentration in moles per dm cube or grams per dm cube, your value must always be in three significant figures. Actually, the value for this, the answer to this evaluation is 0 0.08. That's what you get from your calculator. But if you must get this mark, then you must add these two zeros at the end to make it three significant figures. So that's the answer to that question. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. In the next question, you are told to calculate concentration of YOH2 in moles per dm cube. Good. Now, what do we need to calculate the concentration of F in moles per dm cube? Remember, we were told that 20 cm cube of the saturated solution of F was diluted to obtain this solution F, right? So, 
which means that we don't know what the concentration of the dilute solution F is. That's why we are asked to what find. But we know the concentration of solution E, right? Mm -hmm. So we are using solution E to standardize solution F. And since we don't know what Y is, we are not using the formula concentration in grams per dm cube divided by molar mass to find the concentration in moles per dm cube of what? Of YOH2 in F. So it means that the only option that we have is to use what? A titration word formula. So using CEVE over CFVF equals to NE over NF, right? Where was a CE? A C is the concentration of E in moles per dm cube, which is what we just calculated as 0 0.0800 mole per dm cube. And our VE, our VE is our average title value, which is a 24.60 cm cube. That's the volume of E acid use, average volume of acid use. Then um, our VF is the uh, is the capacity, the volume of the pipette that we used, which is 25.00 cm cube. While our CF is what we are looking for, right? Then our NE over NF, that's the mole ratio of uh, acid to base. In the balance equation of reaction, is 2 ratio 1. So we substitute this ratio here into that equation so that will be what C E V E over C F V F equals to 2 over 1. Remember in the structure that was given to you I'm very sure based on the practice you had in class right the mole ratio was 1 ratio 1 so that doesn't mean that you should use 1 ratio 1 here if you do that you score a beautiful 0 because this question is based on YOH2. Are we together? So you answer the question based on the instruction given to you in the question paper. Fine. So that's why I always tell you to understand the concept. Understand the concept and not just cram any solution given to you. So from here now, we are going to make CF subject of formula. So CF will be what? CE VE times 1 all over vf times 2 right so we then substitute what's our ce i see 0 0.0800 times our ve 24.60 times 1 all over 25.00 times 2 this will give us what that gives us 0 0.0394 per dm cube this is in 3 sf right okay that's the concentration of yoh2 in f in moles per dm cube let's see if there's another question here on this page we are now asked to calculate the solubility of the substance yoh2 in moles per dm cube so now what happened here Number 20 cm cube of the solution, original solution was diluted to obtain this concentration in moles per dm cube. Are we together? So now we're going to use the dilution factor to determine the concentration of the original word solution or the saturated solution. Or we want to call it that way. All right, let's divide this into two. Okay, so first off, what's the original volume? Which I call V1 is 20 cm cube original concentration they call c1 i don't know that's what we're looking for new volume a new volume was a um, that's v2 a new volume is one dm cube right but the question said 20 cm cube of saturated solution of yoh2 per dm cube mm -hmm. so we made that volume to one dm cube and the new concentration the concentration of the dilute solution that's a c2 is what we just calculated above and that is a 0 0.0394 mole per dm cube right using the dilution factor 
right? Whether you call it C1 V1 equals to C2 V2, or you can say C1 over C2 equals to V2 over V1. We are looking for C1. So we make C1 subject of formula. That will be C1 equals to C2 V2 all over what? V1, right? So this gives us, remember, our volume here must be in dm cube. So this will be 0 0.020 what? dm cube. That is 0 0.020 dm cube, right? So if we substitute this value, so our C2 is uh, 0 0.0394. Our V2 is 1 dm cube divided by 0 0.020. DMQ. Remember, since we diluted the saturated solution, we will expect our initial or original concentration to be higher than the uh, final or new word concentration. So if C1 is not higher than C2, it means I've done something wrong somewhere. So let's calculate this and see. So this means that the original concentration of the saturated solution was 1.97 mole per dm cube, right? Therefore, the solubility of the substance YOH2 in moles per dm cube is 1.97 mole per dm cube. All right, that's three significant figures. All right, the next question says uh, ask to calculate the mass of Y, the mass of YOH2 that will be deposited mm -hmm. if one dm cube of saturated solution is evaporated to what dryness. <laughs> Very, very tricky question. Now, mass of Y that will be deposited if one dm cube of saturated solution is evaporated to water. In other words, you are being asked to calculate the concentration of YOH2 in grams per dm cube. That's what you are being asked here. Simple, right? So, I divide this to calculate the mass of Y, the mass of YOH2 that would be deposited if one dm cube of saturated solution is evaporated to dryness of course dry you would use the formula concentration in grams per dm cube equals to concentration in moles per dm cube times molar mass in other words they want us to calculate the concentration in grams per dm cube of yoh2 and they've given us the molar mass you can see they've given us the molar mass of y oh2 here so this implies that concentration of y oh2 in grams per dm cube will be equal to we have the concentration of y oh2 that we calculated in moles per dm cube that's solubility yeah solubility is the same thing, similar to concentration the only difference is that one depends on temperature while the other one has nothing to do with temperature right that's 1.97 moles per dm cube times 74 74 grams per mole okay so if we evaluate this we'll get what 145.78 grams per dm cube so it means that 1445.78 grams of yoh2 will be what will be deposited simple that is the answer that shows that it's actually true that that solution was what uh, was saturated yeah because it actually contained or held about almost two moles of yoh2 in one dm cube of its solution so it means it's somewhat concentrated okay so let's look at the next question if you're able to learn anything from this tutorial give us a like subscribe to this channel and turn on your notification bell if you are yet to do so also don't forget to leave a comment remember when your absence makes no difference it means your presence added no value. So keep making yourself valuable until I see you when I'll see you.